Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome to Happy Wednesday. I believe it's Wednesday. It should be Wednesday. The what's the eighteenth? Had to cheat there. Wednesday, the eighteenth, twenty twenty-three. Um, happy Wednesday, out there, everybody. Uh, world breaking news. World breaking news. WBN, HPTV, all of that. Uh, yes, that is me. I am the host once again, Tony Magdu. Or Tony from Cali as well. So WBN, WBN, that's my world breaking news news channel. I normally have a you know virtual reality, a virtual background with my uh, uh, news desk and all that kind of stuff. I don't like doing all that. So this is kind of uh, a combination of all that. Um, bro life. We're gonna call this bro life twenty four. Bro life twenty three. We uh, put the other, put together the other day. We really didn't take a whole lot of time to put it together. And this I didn't put it, take a lot of time putting it together either. Um, I just got through rebuilding my broadcaster studio. So this is a test of my broadcaster studio to see how it works. Um, and it just consists of um, a couple little components. You don't need anything major. I got an old video camera. I've got a couple lights hooked up this time more than the last time. And um, I'm using my mom's uh, dinner tray, one of those, roll, those rollable round dinner trays that you roll around. I'm using her dinner tray as the foundation. So everything is built onto her dinner tray. And I can just roll it in, roll it out, roll it outside, roll it wherever I want to roll it. And I got the lights built on it. We'll give you some pictures of that a little later. I'm still kind of um, putting it together. I've got my. Uh, camera switcher on there and that kind of stuff but I don't have a my other camera set up right now I just got one camera one video camera old video camera so we're going to uh, we're not really going to talk about all that but I wanted to tell you this is it was basically be testing it everything out and of course you can see a more close-up view right now of myself which is not the most um, flattering um, video of myself Hair is looking kind of wild, of course, yes. Got the dreads happening a little bit. But um, this video is just to keep it real. Once again, we got Bro Life 24. Bro Life 24 is, hey, okay, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning right now. I'll double check that on my phone and I'll even let you guys see that. It's 3.03 to be exactly. 3.03, okay. So it's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's Wednesday, January the 18th, and I'm just... Uh, making this video let everybody know that from this from bro life get right with God I tell everybody that get right with God uh, I had a, a friend of mine in Vegas uh, just he just lost his son a couple days ago and uh, it was very very sad I don't know all the details but you know my condolences go out to his family and go out to his his, his uh, it's just his complete family, and, and he was just so shocked. You know, he lost his one of his oldest, or his young, I think his youngest, or his oldest son. Can't remember, but uh, uh, my condolences go out to him and his family. And uh, I used to work with uh, this guy, and we worked at the convention center and stuff like that. And it was just life is unexpected. We don't know when we we don't know how long we're going to be here. Like even right now, when I make this video, this could be my last video. We don't know. Uh, people plan to have uh, what's the word? People plan vacations and people plan trips and do you know? There's nothing wrong with that, you know. But we just don't know nowadays. We don't know. Times are a little bit different to me than they were when I was in my 20s and 30s. You know, when I was in my 20s and 30s. You know, life was more like an adventure. You just you feel like you could just do anything you wanted to do, you know. Uh, be on top of the world, you know, financially. You want to have money. You want to have different things, and I understand all that. But I tell people right now, get your life right. Get your life right with God. Because um, we're in a time where there is so many things going on that's unexplainable. People don't know why things are happening. And people are trying to figure out why things are happening. I tried to figure out why things were happening for so long. You know, being an independent journalist, you know, 
World Broadcast News, HPTV, uh, KTFC, Channel 63, all these different, you know, uh, entities and stuff that I was setting myself up to be as a news organization, I guess. And I was trying to analyze and figure out things just like I do when it comes to technical issues, you know, electronics and cars and all kinds of things. So now I'm at that point in life where I just put everything in God's hand and I just kind of like, I give everything to God. I pray. I pray a lot. Um, and my goal is to be right with God, to be holy, to be um, humble, holy. And I say this all the time, to be a happy, humble, holy, humble servant of the Lord. Happy, humble, holy servant of the Lord. That is my goal. My mom used to tell me that all the time before she passed. You know, son, just be holy. Don't trip out. I used to show her cameras. I used to show her all kinds of stuff. And every day I sit around with her and talk with her. And she used to tell me, be holy. She was right. Because this world is not holy. This world is not, this world is evil, to be honest with you. It's evil. There's a lot of things happening that pe people cannot explain. People are getting killed. People are getting, you know, taking their own lives, of course. And then there's a lot of people that are not taking their own lives, but they're set up to say, hey, okay, this person took their life. So, you know, people are getting murdered. Let's just say it the way it is. They're getting murdered. And, um, of course, there are all kind of tragic accidents, and there's a tragic... I uh, just had a plane crash a little while ago. I think it was like 60, 70 people just passed away. Um, plane crashed. Um, uh, during the floods we had out here, we had a lot of people got killed in the floods. Uh, I don't know, remember the number, but I know it was uh, over 20, maybe 30 people getting killed in the floods out here we have you know the seasons are changing and they're unpredictable we don't know what's going on and I know man has something to do with the weather too because man can create weather they got weather technology don't get me I don't want to get all into that because people be like oh no that's whatever so uh, there's a lot of things that we may not be, be able to explain but that's why I'm making this video because it's it's kind of depressing sometimes, you know. Yeah, I, I, I'm an independent news journalist, and I watch the news every day, um, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on television, internet, Facebook. I'm always getting information, and the information may not be completely accurate, but I try to get it out to you guys, uh, regardless. You know, most of the time I just post the internet news posts or uh, YouTube news. I'll probably post some more even after this video. And um, that's just something that I like to do is inform people because I'm an independent journalist. And I may not talk about every story in, in deep, in depth. Um, I have so many stories in my head that I remember that kind of stand out. Um, some of them I don't even want to talk about. Uh, most of my news stories used to be about technology all the time. I'll tell you about the new cars and the new things that are happening. And I still, I just post those now and then too. I see something that's kind of interesting. And now I even post a lot of uh, historical uh, uh, news, you know, like uh, hi historical inventions and things of that nature. So you may see me post something that's from like 1908 or 1806 or something like that. Yeah. And it might be an old camera or old car or scooter or something like that. So I have a variety of um, things that I post, and it's not just one thing, not just one subject. And I may not agree also with the uh, author or the person that's making the video or whatever, but I still post it. And the reason I post it is because it's to give me an insight of what other people are thinking sometimes. Um, some of the things I may agree. I agree, some, I agree with some of the things that they may say. And then some of the other things I may not agree with. And I really don't put my opinion in that area. I just kind of post it out there and let you guys uh, look at it as well. And you may not agree with the, what, I'm, what I'm saying, and that's fine. Um, so right now, this video um, supposedly was just a test video. Um, I didn't want to make it too long. I've been making a lot of my videos a lot longer. My last video was pretty long, <laughs> like an hour. I know you guys lose interest, but this video is more like a just a test video. I wanted to set up the YouTube studio. Let me move around a little bit, get a little bit more comfortable. You guys just uh, 
back up here a little bit. Uh, I'm still too. Uh, okay. I got this. Um, I'm actually using OBS too. We'll talk about that. So a lot of people say, how do you do your videos? Um, I'm not using a mirrorless camera. I'm not using any. We'll talk about that. Uh, go through this real quick. I'm just using an old video camera from 2015. Okay. That's how old this camera is. It came out in 2015. And it's an old video camera. And uh, I'm not going to go into the model number and all that kind of stuff. But it's a whole video camera, and I could have been using any camera. I could have been using my cell phone. And the reason I keep looking down or straight ahead is because the monitor is right there. Um, I should be looking directly at you guys, like right now. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, it's just distracting to me. I should turn it off, actually, but I'm not. Um, and I'm just using a ring light and a couple of LED lights this time. I use, don't use a whole lot of lighting. But I want to test out my LED lights. I should. I didn't even tune them in. Uh, that's okay. So um, enough of that. Enough of the technology. Um, once again, this video I'm going back to uh, keeping it real and getting right with God. You know, I believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. I pray every day. I pray every night. I'm praying this morning, three o'clock in the morning. Thank you, Jesus, for another day and. Uh, my new slogan, this is my new slogan because you guys, I got a lot of little different little slogans, right? Don't hate, don't wait, donate. You guys heard about that one? Don't hate, don't wait, hesitate, don't donate. Yeah, you can donate. But my, my main slogan is, I have a roof over my head and a bed. A roof over my head and a bed. Being thankful, being humble, being holy, humble, holy, humble servant of the Lord. Happy, holy servant of the Lord. And I have a roof over my head and a bed. Okay? So if you see me out somewhere rolling around, you know, people say, hey, Tony, how you doing? You might hear me say, I got a roof over my head and a bed. A roof over my head and a bed, which is true. So, you know, right now, I'm helping out my dad, staying with my dad, and uh, up early in the morning. You know, he's in the prayer room right now. We call it the prayer room, the real prayer room, not like the prayer room at, uh, this is Pastor Whitehead. Uh, what was his name? Uh, he cracked me up. Um, I don't like to put out any names out there, but what's his name? You know who I'm talking about? Uh, Bishop. Bishop Lamar Whitehead. Look him up. That's all I can tell you. Look him up. They call him the Bling Bling Pastor. Or Bishop, the Bling Bling Bishop. And he showed his prayer room. And his prayer room was a prayer room full of expensive uh, clothing, Gucci, Fendi, all this other stuff. And if, I don't know, I'm not going to go all into it. You, you have to, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But, uh, I don't consider that a prayer room. You know, he says this is a prayer room, but to me it was more of a kind of a show off, trying to show off his, his, uh, clothing, you know, and that type of thing. So but my dad is in a real prayer room right now. Okay. You guys know my dad, okay? He's in the real prayer room, and um, he's in there praying now. And I'm, I'm, I, we get up early in the middle of the night, you know, one or two o'clock in the morning, sometimes later, um, usually around two. And then um, I usually work on things, you know. I got the Brocaster, uh, the Brobility scooter, um, or you know, right across from me. I got just the body actually. And uh, the frame and everything is, is is in my storage. But I've been working on that, and I put the letters on it, and we'll talk about that. That's a whole different, another subject. I've been working on that as well. Electrical system, the lettering, all that kind of stuff, yeah. But anyway, this video is Bro Life 24, and it's about getting right with the Father, getting right with God. Or everybody say, some people say, higher up, um, what they say, a higher some people say Ahaya, some people say the Father, some people say, um, um, I, this is so many different, you know, I, I, I'm not going to put a label on it, I'm just going to say getting right with God, because there's so many different names, Jehovah, there's so many different names, and uh, I used to say, I just say them all when I pray, I say thank you for everything, oh, I'd be saying, I, everything in G, through Jesus, of course, through Jesus Christ, or some people say uh, Yeshua, 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 um, Yeshua, and then um, 
there's so many different names. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get detail into that because who knows? You know, I think God accepts you. Um, to be honest with you, I think God will accept you. Of course, going through His Son Jesus Christ, Jesus did come to save us, and we're, I think we're supposed to pray through Him, like He said, to get to the Father. And uh, like I said, I'm not an expert on all this. I'm still learning all this stuff myself. But at the same time, I should, you know, I have plenty of time to really, really learn everything. And I feel like now we're at the, I'm at the end of my life, you know, in, in a sense where. I'm not going to live forever. I'm not saying I'm going to die tomorrow or I'm going to commit suicide or anything like that. No. So if you hear anything like, oh, Tony committed suicide. Okay, that's going to be a complete lie. I'm going to let you know. That's going to be a complete lie. You know, we all get sad. We all get depressed about certain things. But I got a real strong will to uh, survive and to, to live. You know, if I get taken out some other way in an accident, a car accident, anything like that, that's, that's true. That's possibly true. But uh, for me to just give up on life, no. So there's a lot of people that are saying they're giving up on life. A lot of stars, a lot of celebrities. And there's people that, uh, it was just a car crash a couple of days ago. The guy, the football player, you guys heard about that. And uh, a lot of conspiracy theories and, you know, people saying that he got taken out and blood sacrifice. I don't know. Could be a blood sacrifice. Could be. You know, so on, on somebody else's part, you know, making it big, becoming big, all that kind of stuff. And then there's a lot of stuff about Quavo. You guys know about Quavo, the rapper with the amigos and take off and the blood sacrifice and all that stuff. I don't know. A lot of people, a lot of things are, are possible. Anything's possible. So um, I call myself an independent journalist not an investigative reporter. I'm not an investigative reporter, so I don't go out and investigate everything. I may investigate it on my own level and maybe form an opinion, but my opinion may not be accurate and it may not be uh, need, needed to be put out there, put it that way. I don't need to uh, put my opinion out there on everything because um, I don't know. I don't have the facts. So, I'm not an investigative reporter. I'm an independent journalist. Independent journalist just looks at things and go, oh, that's kind of cool. Write it down, take some notes, and maybe report on it. So I'm reporting on my life. I'm reporting on Tony McDo right now, what Tony McDo has done in his life. And I'm putting it out there. I'm like, hey, I've done a lot of stuff, worked for a lot of companies. You guys know that. This is Bro Life 24. Worked for a lot of companies. Um, Done a lot of different things, built a lot of projects, just built the, this uh, broadcaster studio. Some people call it a YouTube studio. You could call it that because it goes on YouTube pretty much most of the time. But I call it a broadcaster studio because there's sometimes I make a video and it won't go on YouTube. So I just make a video. I made one a little while ago just to test it out. So I don't call it a YouTube studio, I call it a broadcaster studio. Okay? Remember my name, my branding, it's all got the bro in there. And that's not to uh, um, make anybody feel bad or anything like that. And I'm not trying to say, you know, you have to be black or you have to be a certain... Uh, now, um, <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. Broadcaster is just my brand, okay? So don't get uh, frustrated. You could be white, you could be Mexican, you could be... Chinese, you could be whatever. I don't have no discrimination. Okay, you can make a you can make a broadcaster studio. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, with all that said and done, I need to drink some grape soda, grape Kool Aid. I got some grape Kool Aid in my bottle right here, keeping it real. Yeah, it's good. Um, so what I'm saying is that get right with God, be holy, be humble. Okay, a lot of people don't want to humble themselves. You know, go back down to the basics, the the, ba the basics. Um, what I do is I watch a lot of older movies, humble myself, don't get caught up in all the new technology, but not just technology, don't get caught up in all the new things that are happening. Um, out here in Sacramento, uh, different parts, people were out of power a couple, about a week ago or whatever, and they were out of power for like five days. And I'm just 
just getting this information just coming in. You know, my dad talked to one of his friends. He said they didn't have power for like five days. You know, the food went bad. You know, it was, uh, couldn't charge the cell phones, couldn't charge the home phones. You know, it was very, very sad being out of power for five days. And me, as a, uh, a technical person, being out of power for five days, it was like, man, that would kind of, that would kind of, kind of suck, right? Kind of hurt. So just put yourself in that position sometimes and, and think about it. You know, you have power, you have lighting, you have a TV, you have a internet, you have all these things. Enjoy those things and don't take it for granted. It's like I tell people when you wake up, you're able to breathe. Okay, I'm able to breathe. I'm able to um, see. I'm able to make this video. I'm able to talk. I'm able to think. You know, those are things that you, 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 we take for granted because... We just get up and we just go do what we want to do and then we get frustrated with some of the things that happen in the world. It could be politics, it could be um, anything that somebody look at you the wrong way and you get mad. So, you know, this video is to kind of humble yourself, humble yourself and think about sometimes what other people don't have. The Ukrainians right now, what they're going through. I think there was a lot of people that got killed. I think it was like 40, or 40 people or something like that that got killed in an apartment complex uh, a couple of days ago. You guys check it out. I think I might have posted it too. And uh, they got killed. People got shot on Martin Luther King Day. Okay, everybody out there celebrating Martin Luther King. That's 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 great. That's cool. But people got shot. I think that was in Florida. It was like, I think like twelve people got shot. I don't think they got killed, but they got shot. So, don't take for granted something that. It's just kind of normal, you know. You wake up. Thank you, God, for for me breathing. Thank you for my eyes, and my ears, and my organs, and everything. You know, thank the Lord. You know, you want to call whatever name you're using. Um, I don't know what name you use. You a shy, a Shia, a Shua, and you're and some people are saying once again, uh, the Most High, and other people are saying uh, a higher, higher, and all these different names. God knows who he is and whatever name that he, he he chooses to use he knows that you're communicating with him but it's not just communicating with him it's also doing his will it's also um, being a happy humble servant of the Lord but when I say that I mean it's also uh, following his commandments you know you're out there doing a lot of stuff that's that's not lining up you know I ask for the Holy Spirit to help me with that and since I've done that, I've, uh, uh, God's changed me. God's changed me. There's a lot of things I used to do and a lot of things I used to think about that I don't think about anymore. You know, you can have a lustful spirit. You can have a, a spirit where you're thinking about men or women all the time or whatever it is. I used to think about women all the time. I was crazy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I used to think about women all the time. And, I'll, and I, you know, I, I love women. I still, you know, I, I don't know. I'll never change on that, I don't think. I'm sorry. You don't get me changing and loving on men like that. <laughs> you know, thinking about men. But um, I used to look at a lot of women all the time. All on the internet, all the time, pictures and stuff. I know that was bad. A lustful spirit. And I took, uh, I had to pray about it. It took me years and years to really uh, kind of get away from that. And I think the, when I moved out here, I started helping my mom, you know, it just really, it changed a whole lot. You know, I kept on praying about it and stuff. And uh, I don't have that lustful, I had a lustful spirit. I just, man, I love this girl. Man, look at her, wow, I was just going crazy. It was bad. So, I'm putting that out there, letting y'all know. I ain't perfect. But now I'm more, I'm more humble, humbling. Uh, I think about Jesus. And I think about what they went through, and I think about the uh, disciples, his disciples, and what they went through, and how they lived. And a lot of people portrayed him as, you know, this band of guys going around the country and preaching the word. Yes, they did, but they, they, they were um, tormented a little bit. They were tortured, tormented. They were um, didn't have a lot of money like people think they got. They didn't have no millions of dollars. They didn't have no airplanes. They didn't have no cars. Like all these big prosperity preachers right now, 
you got uh, Joel Osteen, I'm sorry, I had to say a couple names, but you got Joel Osteen and you got Creflo Dollar and you got Jesse Duplantis. I'm just thinking about some of the guys that I, uh, I've met some of these guys in, in, back in the day when I used to uh, set up at Calvary Christian Center. Okay, Calvary Christian Center, that was my main church. I was the videographer over there for years. And uh, these major prosperity preachers used to come, th come through. Kenneth Copeland, you guys know who that is? Kenneth Copeland. Uh, so now, uh, I've prayed over the years, and I've seen things that didn't line up. A lot of things didn't line up. You know, the prosperity preaching, that's not what, that's not, that's not what's uh, going to get you into heaven. That's not what's going to get you into the kingdom. That's not what God has put us here on this earth for. He didn't put us here just to prosper and have millions of dollars and money and businesses and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's okay if you had it, but don't let that business have you. Don't put all your faith in just your business or your house and your car. And all, don't put all your faith in that. Don't put all your, don't, don't create, don't, don't um, let it become an idol. In the old days when people had idols, they had little statues and stuff hanging up. And Abraham was like, man, this is not right. Back in the day, he was like, this ain't right. And everybody had, was, had their little gods, and then Abraham found the true God, the real God, talking to him, okay? The real true God. And people don't want to believe that, but that's what happened. And nowadays, the idols <coughs> are not little statues. People don't care about little statues no more. People got cars and boats and houses and property. That becomes their idol. It could be something that you're involved in. Uh, music, gambling. Yeah, let's talk about that. People ask me about gambling all the time. Gambling can be your idol. You like to gamble every day, and that's all you focus on. Gambling can be your idol. Um, so that's why I'm making this video. I'm making this video. Hopefully, it's a wake-up call. You know, open your eyes like this. Open your eyes wide open. Don't be asleep. Like I said, it's three, four o'clock in the morning. It's three something in the morning. My eyes are wide open, and I'm going to be looking at some of the news stories. I'm going to be looking at some of the things that's happening this morning after I make this video. I'll probably post a couple of news stories because once again, I am WBN World Broadcast News. World Broadcast News. Say that with me. World Broadcast News. We don't broadcast. We broadcast. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, but I want to tell you guys, I love you guys out there. I do love you. And um, I just wanted to make this video because I make a lot of different, I haven't made a whole lot of videos lately. We will probably be making more, you know, now that I built my broadcaster studio, rebuilt it. Um, and we will be showing you more things. Maybe I'll do a whole virtual news desk uh, the next video I thought about doing it today actually I could pop up a green screen material uh, very easy we'll tell you how that technology works but um, I didn't feel like doing all that I just wanted to wake up you see looking scroungy three o'clock in the morning I just threw a shirt on it's not my pajamas it's just a whatever kind of shirt I don't know, Hawaiian shirts my sister gave me this shirt my collar is looking right here it ain't straight it needs to be maybe ironed a little bit. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm always trying to be a perfectionist. So we're going to sign off on this video. I love you guys out there. Peace and love. Don't hate. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Donate. Dollar sign. Tony McDo. Okay. You guys can go to my cash app. I have a cash app. Dollar sign Tony McDo. If you want to support anything that I've said tonight any, or my channel or you want to report any of my projects. I've got projects coming up. But right now, once again, don't hate, don't wait, don't procrastinate, don't hesitate, don't hate. Dollar sign, Tony McDo, because I love you. We out.